Hi everybody, here is another example of a chain of reasoning, a technique used to score higher analysis marks in your A-level economics papers. We're going to take the example today of negative externalities from production. Here's the question. Explain how negative externalities from production can cause market failure. Important to define key terms. An externality is a spillover effect from production and consumption for which no compensation is paid. And the key point, of course, is that externalities lie outside the initial market transaction, outside the market price. Always good to support your answer with a couple of examples. Examples of negative production externalities might include the external costs of pesticides used in intensive farming and also damage to things like ocean beds from, from large-scale industrial fishing. Build the chain of reasoning. Here we go. The overuse of pesticides will pollute rivers and streams, which then causes harm to those who use them. Therefore, marginal social cost will exceed marginal private cost, clearly showing a divergence between private and social cost. If the market output supplied is higher than the social optimum, then there is market failure and a key concept coming up and a deadweight loss of social welfare. Some intervention might be needed. So in, in a series of short sentences, we're trying to build a kind of chain of reasoning and explanation here. And of course, this is a key question where you need to support your answer with a diagram, a really good diagram, showing, for example, how marginal social cost exceeds the marginal private cost. Uh, that gap is getting bigger, suggesting that the scale of the pollution at the margin is getting, getting larger. The green area is the area of the deadweight loss of social welfare because Q1 uh, the social optimum lies above the private optimum, Q2. So a nice clear diagram, backed with a chain of reasoning, get you good analysis marks, and then, of course, oftentimes you're asked to evaluate strategies to uh, correct for market failure. That, of course, is for another time and place in our YouTube series.